redid the cabinets, we redid the walls, but now it's time to redo these chairs. They're so flat <laughs> and they're not as comfy anymore and the fabric is worn out because this is the dog bed. It's also where we work and where we eat, where we spend most of our time. So we need to redo them. We need new foam, we need new fabric. It's a big project, but not as big as taking off all the cabinets and repainting them. I'm excited to get it done because it's going to make a major difference in the van. I almost considered cutting this one here into a piece right here. You know, the fridge is only from here over. So if we cut a small piece there that we didn't have to move, then we wouldn't have to avoid this corner when we flip it up. Which is a design flaw that we accidentally did. That's really one thing when you're planning your van, you got to think about all these corners, tight spots, how things open, where the hinge is. So I think the main challenge is choosing the color. I want to pick something that matches the rest of the van, but not too matchy. I almost just thinking right real quick, I just thought of this now, but like, what about black? I know, I saw black at the store. That would it would be look, look sleek, nice. right? Yeah, because there's like some black around, you know? So it's like We're making the van so dark. We started with an all white van and, <laughs> and, and now we're like, let's darken it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, there's a few textile stores like a couple, like a mile away. Let's go. Yeah, we'll go check it out. Like in this one here. Family, so you want to do this? Uh, yeah, let's do it. So it'll be two and a half meters. It's about 50 bucks when okay. you convert it. That's that's cheaper than it was in the US. Cool. It looks like a really nice strong. Yeah, but it'll last forever. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Now we've got to go buy the foam for the seats. They told me a spot nearby. Having a little snack on our, our time out. You think we can get to work after that? Or? Oh, yeah. You want to try to do it today? I'm getting it done today. Wow, here we go. All right, we found the foam, and then Emily says something like this kind of goes over the top of it. The guy's cutting it to size for us. He's got all the goods here for foams. Genius! <laughs> Just another reason to get a machete, babe. Yeah. <laughs> stoked? Yeah, I'm stoked. Ooh, big project. We're making progress. We got the new foam in the van and Sombrita is just craving sitting on her seat, aren't you? You just wanna sit on your seat. You'll be able to sit on a comfier seat soon, maybe. And we're hoping to get a full mirror that can fit this. So measured it up. We got the measurements here in centimeters. Let's see if we can get this mirror. So we're stuck in traffic right now, but we're heading to a place that sells and makes mirrors. Here we go! So we're hoping to get a new mirror for the wardrobe. And then right after that, we're hoping to stop at a frame place to reframe the art. And then we're going to get started on our projects. Ah, oh, this is awesome. We're getting it all done in one place. The mirror, the frames, custom frames for $40 for four of them. The only other time I went to go get quoted about that, I think they said like $200 just for that small one from Cuba. So pretty stoked. We can pick it all up on Saturday. Maybe get it all up before Emily's mom even gets here. That's the goal. A new mirror on the way and four new frames for the art that we chose to keep up on the walls. We are going to save the rest of our art from our adventures. We're just going to roll it up into a tube and maybe we'll switch it out one day. But yeah, we're just looking forward to putting up new art from new countries, new continent, 
And in here we got the tools that Emily used last time to do the seat. So let's see what we got. Okay, there's the stapler. Oh, and there's it looks the like staples. Of staples. Thanks, Dad. All right, so we have all the materials we need to redo the seats. We have the new fabric, the foam, and then also the cotton bit that we put on top. And down here is all the tools we're gonna need. Flathead screwdrivers, a chisel, the most important part, the stapler, and the staples that we're gonna put into the seats. We're heading to a spot in the city from iOverlander well, that will be perfect for our new project. All right, I'm going to do the first step, which is getting the hinges off of this um, seed here. This is the only one that has hinges. Oh, there we go. I'm going to start trying to take staples off of here. I am not sure if I'm going to finish this today, so I might just take off the staples of this one and then try and upholster it and then move on to the next one instead of them instead of doing it all at the same time. That way my hands don't get tired as well. So you need the pliers? Yeah, I need some pliers, please. I think I got this. <laughs> like this? Yes, those are oh, okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Wow, good work. Uh, We were kind of worried to see what was on the inside. It does not have mold! Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, I like how you're keeping the dirty side of the fabric. <laughs> <laughs> it does look funny. like it's going to be nice to change it, huh? Yeah, oh my gosh. So she can use this as a template. It's the warranty. Let's see. Let's see. They authorize today the fan on warranty. Good work, babe! So it's on order. Nonetheless, it requires importation. So that's great news. They can start sending it. We're going to the States anyway. So yeah, we should have time mm -hmm. as long as they order it now. <laughs> okay, congrats, babe. kind of in the middle here, the work zone, but this is kind of sick. I got this program. I just hit the button and it's gonna take screenshots for two kinds of iPhones, two kinds of iPads, 23 languages, automatically take all those screenshots for me. So let's see how long this takes. Okay, I think I finally figured out the best way to do this. At least clean it up, the hidden part under the cushion. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of mold. There was like a round spot just right there of mold. So, took out all the cushions quick. We're cleaning this good. Oof. I mean, at least it was just in one spot. Oh, you made faces out of the, out of the wood. <laughs> you remember doing that? Yeah. Well, let's see if it fits. Yep, there we go. Numero uno. Looks way better than the old ones. So this project is turning out to be a lot more fun than we expected. <laughs> We're gonna cut this seat so that we only have to open a little bit of it. But since we found that mold, we thought it would be best to also paint the bottom of this one. It does have a lot of vinegar sitting on it right now. So hopefully that's killing the mold. It looks a lot better than it did. And I also put some detergent on it, baking soda, so. So I found the saw and the blades table. <laughs> While Danny's getting all that back together, I'm gonna take our um, the upholstery on Graham's box off. And then hopefully that one doesn't have mold as well, because if it does, I'm gonna have to vinegar treat that and also paint that one. So here is where we're gonna cut a piece so that when we're picking it up for the fridge, we don't have to move the piece over every time because it, it hangs under here. So it should just make life just a little bit easier. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
always want to unplug the power tool when you're done. The jigsaw, I think, is one of the best tools for just quickly cutting wood. You know, it's not 100%, but there's gonna be that foam there anyway. And the reason that we cut a little space in between the two is because of the foam that's gonna be in between them. So it has to be a little bit smaller than it was the first time. Teamwork's just incredible today. I got these tables all set up for Emily to paint. I can't believe we cut it that quick. I can already put away this power tool and line. Super nice of the owner of this garage to let us do this. Last time we were here, we asked if we could paint back in here. We ended up painting over in Via de Leva. He said, nobody's coming with any motorcycles tonight. We can just kind of leave it here to dry. Wow, we're almost done with the second one here. Computer's still steadily turning out screenshots from my app, automating the languages, the devices. Oh, got the hinge on there. Yeah. So much comfier. So firm. Feels good. Yeah, much better than the other ones. The other ones were like. <laughs> <laughs> you think Sabrita's gonna like it? Oh, I can't wait to sell her to get up here. She's gonna be sleeping like that. Should we do it? Okay. My computer's done anyway. Okay. I already generated, I guess, 75 screenshots in different languages, different devices. And this is always the best part. That's how long it took to take the screenshots. That's how long it took to put the words above them. So it just saved me 222 minutes that I used on these chairs. <laughs> okay. you go? Wow. You like it? Look yeah. at the happy face. Te gusta, sombrita? Get that mold away. Good morning. So last night we weren't able to finish our last bench seat. So today we're going to start working on the last seat. And it's gonna be a big improvement. This seat is even more than the other two because we're, we cut it. So hopefully it'll make our lives a lot easier whenever we're opening and closing the fridge. I'm gonna drink my tea and we're gonna to get to work. a new one that's non-standard cut <laughs> oh you want to see how it fits in here yeah whoa that's epic oh and it's it's within the border of it yeah cool yeah. so we got another piece coming that's gonna fit in here now we won't have to take that piece out like ever because this is the whole area where the fridge is wow these are looking good though Love it. You love it. You approve? how the color turned out looks good against the cabinets the walls and the dog sombrita wow i love it i feel like the red was cool but against this blue it didn't look as good it was like not neutral good work Well, we haven't been stopped too long right now. Let's see if you can 
see how the battery's going bad here. Definitely slow. But this morning, the gauge is going dip, 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 dip for about five seconds. Whew, so, fortunately, we're going to have to get a battery. I don't think it's going to last much longer. You know it's going to be in the middle of your mom's trip. <laughs> Go to pick up my mom. It's not going to be. <laughs> I've had a bad battery before in a manual transmission. I'm not sure if you can do it in automatic, where like right now we're on this hill, you know? Yeah. So you just start going and then pop the clutch, but you got no clutch in here. I and, know, yeah. And you can start your car. If you ever have a bad battery, you know, that's one trick. You, I think I did it in reverse once too. Wow, that's, uh. that's experience. <laughs> Home Depot slash home center didn't have a battery for us. They sent me here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm stoked we can get this battery down here. It's been so hard to get replacement parts, but he says, you know, it's a little bit smaller than ours, about 12 inches compared to 14, but he said that's because the battery tech has advanced in the six years since this Maybe seven since this battery was installed, so hopefully it works out well. Nice. Ooh, that's step one. In a car electrical, the negative uh, goes right to the metal. So this cable here that goes back to the house batteries, we don't have to send two. Because in the back it can connect to the metal on its own, and here it connects to the metal. And while we're doing this, Put the cover here so some Brito won't come up, but there she is. We're not Chica and Graham. You guys are such good animals. Stand out of the way of the business. Muy bien. She loves the new bench seat. So you can see here we're doing a heart transplant on the vent. So even though it's a different size, he says that will really hold it well because it holds it in the middle anyhow. So the one complication was that all those positive wires wouldn't reach to the terminal. So he decided loosen this, scoot the battery over a bit. Oh, it looks to be working fine. I think all the negative ones are, are pretty long. So that'll be great. Now we got the negative attached. Had to loosen this a bit to get it to flex a little farther, but it's looking good. Okay, the van turned on with no noise. Oh, it's looking good. Wow, I'm stoked that we could get this done so quickly, so easily before Emily's mom comes. And at the same time, Emily went and hit the grocery store right over here. So we're getting it all done, quick. Maybe I can even hit the skate park, please. Emily, cooking up big the vegan stuff. Tell us what you got. Got vegan mac and cheese. Got with broccoli, which is already cooked. Um, we got veggie chicken nuggets. I can't believe we got so much done today, babe. I know you did a great job up there. Oh, you too. And over here, got the bike waiting to go to this epic skate park. Last time I couldn't even park when we tried to go to this skate park. It's just as big as that other epic one. Maybe even better. Pretty excited about this crazy skate park we're about to see. Thanks so much for joining us in our second round of van renovations. We finished just in time for my mom to come in and we're so excited to pick her up tonight. Danny's birthday is this week. So happy birthday to the best travel and life partner I could ever ask for. We'll see you guys next time for an amazing week in Bogota.